Hello and welcome to the Factory Talk Motion Analyzer training. In this session, we will focus on configuring a mechanism system. After completing the session, you should be able to know the basic properties of a mechanism object in Motion Analyzer, be familiar with the different kinds of mechanisms available, and be able to configure a mechanism for a given application. What is a mechanism? Mechanisms are used to transform the rotary displacement provided by a rotary motor into linear displacement. There are different ways to achieve this depending on what the application is. Motion Analyzer Online covers four of the most common types of mechanisms used in the industry. Lead screw, belt drive, chain and sprocket, and rack and pinion. Mechanisms configurations affect the final speed and inertia of the load perceived by the motor. That's why it is important to correctly model the mechanism in Motion Analyzer Online to find the best motor drive solution. A lead screw, as the name suggests, consists of a screw rotary driven by the motor that drives the slide linearly. These are the parameters of the lead screw. The lead or pitch of the screw is the slide's linear displacement per rotation of the screw. The inertia is the inertia of the lead screw, the bearings, and the nut. The preload is the torque necessary to rotate the screw from zero speed to overcome the friction imposed by the bearing and the nut preload adjustments. The efficiency is the mechanism's mechanical energy efficiency. And finally, we have the slide mass. A belt drive consists of a cylinder roll driven by the motor that drives a belt linearly and other idler roll or rolls. These are the parameters of the belt drive. Firstly, the table and the belt mass. Then we need the information about the driver roll and all other idler rolls in the system, their diameter, inertia, and friction torque. Idler rolls can be grouped together if they are similar. A chain and sprocket mechanism is very much comparable to a belt drive. It consists of a sprocket driven by the motor that drives a chain linearly and other idler sprocket or sprockets. These are the parameters of the chain and sprocket. Firstly, the table and the chain mass. Then we need the information about the driver sprocket and all other idler sprockets in the system, their diameter, inertia and friction torque. Idler rolls can be grouped together if they're similar. A rack and pinion consists of a pinion, which is a toothed gear that is rotary driven by the motor that drives a toothed rack linearly. These are the parameters of the rack and pinion. The pitch circle diameter is the diameter of the circle which passes through the center of all the studs. Then we have the pinion inertia the friction torque, and finally, we have the table mass. Now let's go back to our packaging machine with the conveyor belt example. Let's do the sizing for our conveyor mechanism. The specifications for the belt drive are as follows. A belt mass of two kilograms, both driver and idler drums are similar. They have a diameter of 160 millimeters, an inertia of 1400 kilogram centimeter squared and a friction of 0.5 newton meters. Now let's transfer this to Motion Analyzer Online. To add a mechanism to our axis, let's go to our project tree and double click the component section. The mechanism tab will open with the options of linear mechanisms that we can choose from. Linear solutions like integrated actuators and linear servo motors, or rotary to linear solutions like user defined custom mechanisms. Ours is a user defined custom mechanism, so let's choose that one and continue to its configuration. On the bottom half of the page, we can see the mechanism options we can choose from. 
Let's add our belt drive mechanism by selecting it. The new default belt drive will appear on the bottom of the page. If we open the right pane for the application requirements, we can see the application requirements related to the custom mechanism. These requirements come from the motion profile we have previously defined. Now we can edit our mechanism's parameters to match our belt drive from the conveyor. First, let's set the belt mass to 2 kg. We'll change the driver roll's diameter to 160 mm. The inertia to 1400 kg cm2. The friction torque is 0.5 Nm. Now we do the same for the idler roll. In our case, we only have one idler roll, so we leave the number of rollers to one. Finally, we click on Add Mechanism. And that's all. Now we're ready to move on to the transmission selection. This will be covered by another module in this training. By now, you should know the basic properties of a mechanism object in Motion Analyzer be familiar with the different kinds of mechanisms available and be able to configure a mechanism for a given application. This concludes this module. Thank you for watching.